using a virtual indexable cutter on the practice stand. We will begin by mimicking an indexable cutter by tap testing on the body of the tool holder. Loosen the clamps by rotating them counterclockwise. Now the tool holder can freely rotate. Rotate the tool holder until the arrow is directly in front of you. Scrape a small amount of wax and roll into a ball with your fingers. Place ball of wax on unmarked side of the accelerometer. Use the magnetic clasp on the tool holder. Press the accelerometer until the wax pushes out the sides. Check that the accelerometer is firmly attached. Rotate tool holder so the accelerometer is on the x-axis. Check the alignment in the mirror. Tighten the clamps. Click on links in the upper right of your screen to open the demo mill max file for this lesson. Wait while program loads. Wait for Milmax to initialize and the red alert to go off. Click on Practice button. This procedure sets the threshold limits for the tap test. Tap the tool holder in the X direction until Practice Complete Alert turns green. Here is a demonstration. Click OK. Click OK. Click measure button. You are ready to start tapping in the X axis. Tap the tool holder in the X direction. Here is a demonstration. You may get error messages to ask you to hit harder or a message to hit softer. Double hit errors are caused by not retracting the hammer quickly enough after striking. After five successful taps, click OK. Loosen the clamps. Rotate tool holder so the accelerometer is on the Y axis. Tighten the clamps. Tap the tool holder in the Y direction. Here is a demonstration. After five successful taps in the Y axis, click OK. All the measurements are now complete. The file is automatically saved.